Qualcomm is holding its second annual tech summit here in Hawaii, where it will unveil its next-gen chips that will likely show up in next year's devices. At its keynote today, after unveiling a new slew of always-connected PCs from HP and Asus, the chipmaker had one more surprise partner to announce. AMD and Qualcomm are teaming up to make always-connected PCs with AMD's Ryzen mobile platform. With this partnership, AMD and Qualcomm are saying that they will combine AMD's Ryzen processors with Qualcomm's Snapdragon LTE modems to offer better performance for the Always Connected PCs platform. AMD unveiled its Ryzen chips in October, featuring integrated Radeon Vega graphics. Ryzen CPUs were designed to offer desktop-level performance while still allowing for a small enough footprint for thin-end lights. The company has revealed two Ryzen processors thus far, and both are quad-core chips with 8 threads, which is a similar architecture to Intel's 8th generation laptop chipsets. The higher-end model has 10 Vega graphics cores, helping it blow away Intel's integrated graphics on benchmarks. For gamers on the go, the Ryzen chipsets can provide decent frame rates for mid-range games like League of Legends or Overwatch. This is an expansion of the Always Connected PC platform that Microsoft and Qualcomm first announced at WinHack last year. And today we finally saw actual devices designed for the framework. Asus's Nova Go and HP's NVX2 are laptops that pack Snapdragon 835 chipsets and can run full Windows 10, complete with x86 app compatibility and support for Windows Ink, Hello, and Cortana. They tout 20-hour battery lives, which is far longer than traditional notebooks, and come with Qualcomm's Snapdragon X16 modems that can support Gigabit LTE where available. But even though the Snapdragon 835 chipset is a capable processor for smartphones, it's not going to help Qualcomm compete with Intel, the other chip maker that's also working on always connected PCs. With AMD's participation, however, Qualcomm has the means to provide more power for laptops that can handle more intensive multitasking. Neither company has revealed many details just yet, other than to confirm their partnership. They've already been working together for years. Since 2011, Qualcomm has provided the wireless WAN component for AMD's platform. AMD told Engadget that this is meant to be an evolving collaboration that will play out over generations. In other words, this isn't a one-time effort. In years to come, we might even see them make a chip together. Still, as it stands, this is intriguing news for the always connected PC's ecosystem, as it means that future laptops with Qualcomm's radios in them don't have to be limited to smartphone-level performance. At the very least, this gives Intel some competition in the space, and that's good news for consumers.